Hi guys! This is going to be my first empties video, so I'm going to show you products that I have used up completely and then give you a short review on them. So let's get started! My first item is this Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, and this removed my eye makeup just fine, but it really stung my eyes after I wiped it off, so I will definitely not be repurchasing this again. Next up, I have the Batiste Dry Shampoo in a hint of color, deep and dark brown. And this is my favorite dry shampoo right now. I really like the tinted type because it doesn't leave a white cast in my hair, so you'll definitely be seeing more of these in the future. Okay, the next product was the Spreeman Facial Polishing Mask, Charcoal and Black Sugar Scrub. And I found this to be pretty harsh to use on my face. I don't really like really harsh physical exfoliants. They're not that great for your skin. So um, I used this a couple times and then I ended up using it more as a body and foot scrub. So I won't be, be repurchasing this either. But if you like really, really harsh um, exfol physical exfoliant, you might enjoy this one. This is the It Cosmetics Tight Line Full Lash Length Black Primer with Peptide Enhancing Serum. And this was in my Finish 6 by Christmas. And I did not like this. I did not notice any difference using this product, so I really would not recommend it. It just was an extra step that did nothing, so we'll skip that in the future. This was also in my Finish 6 by Christmas. It was the Daviness um, Conditioner, Absolutely Beautifying Conditioner, and I got this in my birch box, and it was a pretty big sample. It was this little jar. Um, it lasted quite a while, and it smelled really good. Um, I really liked it, but I probably won't repurchase it just because I don't really splurge on um, hair products very much and I'm sure this is kind of expensive. Here is my mini um, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I've mentioned before I love this mascara. I have already bought um, a full size and I also bought a kit that came with another deluxe sample so I love this and I can't wait to use it again. This was also in my Finish 6 by Christmas. Um, it was the Clean Rain Roller Ball. And this was, I bought a little roll, set of these roller balls in the summer, and this was probably my favorite one. So I used this up, and now it's gone, and I'm sad. But um, I would definitely consider repurchasing this scent in the future. This is the Agave Healing Oil Oil Treatment, and I got this. I had so many of these samples, and like all of them together were one of my um, products in my Finish 6 by Christmas. So I've gone through like maybe five or six of these, and I love this. And you can get several uses out of each one of these samples, and there were so many times that I used this, and then people asked me if I got a haircut or if I had dyed my hair or something was different about my hair, just because it made my hair look so great. So I definitely recommend this and I would definitely buy a full size of this in the future. I actually have another sample of this right now. It seems to be on Sephora a lot so um, if I ever run out of samples I will consider repurchasing this. So next up is my L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation and you probably saw this in my project pan. Um, when I first got this I really liked it. I found it really easy to use. It gave you a very quick kind of light to medium coverage and you, they recommend that you use your fingers to apply it, and that really is what I found to be the best way to apply it. So it was really simple, but I really hated the packaging. Um, there was no pump, so you had to pour it into your hand, and you only need a really small amount. So I would always pour way too much in my hand, and like the, it got really gunky all around the, um, the top of the bottle. It was pretty gross. And I did like the finish of this um, overall, but... Uh, one of the main ingredients is alcohol, which isn't the best ingredient for your skin. So for that reason alone, I probably wouldn't repurchase this um, in the future. But it was pretty good, other than that. Next up, I have this Jack Black Industrial Strength Hand Healer. And this is just a mini deluxe sample of a hand cream. And my dad actually gave this to me when I was visiting for Thanksgiving. And I really liked it. Um, I have a lot of lotion right now to go through, but I would consider purchasing this in the future. Next up I have some foil packets. Um, I had this Daviness Replumping Shampoo and Conditioner. They're stuck together. So, And then I also have the Bumble and Bumble Surf Foam Wash. And both of these were just fine. Um, they weren't amazing or anything. And like I said, I don't really spend a lot of money on hair care, so I probably won't repurchase either of these. But um, especially the Daviness one smelled really nice. So um, there's that. <laughs> Next up, I have a sample from Birchbox, and this was the Not Soap Radio, or Not Radio Soap, I'm not sure, uh, Joy Inducing Bubbles for Bath or Shower. And I used this as a uh, body wash, and it smelled really good, nice. It was very citrusy, very lemony, but I don't really like to spend a lot of money on body wash, and I'm sure this is kind of expensive since it was Birchbox, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I did really like it. 
Next up, I have another foil packet, and this was the Makeup Forever High Definition Primer. And I brought this with me when I went to visit my sister in December, and I wore it on a very long day. I applied my makeup pretty early in the morning, maybe 7 or 8, and I had it on all day and went to a concert and got back really late, so um, I was really surprised when I took used a makeup wipe to remove my makeup, and it was covered in foundation, like as if I had just put it on. So I was really impressed with this. I'll probably try to get another sample if I ever want to repurchase this just to test it out again to make sure it wasn't some sort of fluke. But I did really like this and once I get through a bunch of my primers I would consider repurchasing this. This is another item I got in my glossy box and it was the Vichy Lift, Lift Active Nui. Um, night cream and I believe this is one-third of the size of a full size and that retails for $50 so this was a really great sample to get I really did enjoy it it was a very good night cream but I'm not really one to spend that much money on a cream so I probably won't buy it but I did really enjoy using this sample next up I have another item I can't remember if this was from Ipsy or Birchbox I think it was Ipsy and it's the Aries body butter in Patagonia and it was a very um, it was a fine body butter but it had a very kind of um, herbally scent it says it with essential oils of jasmine and rosemary and those kind of scents just aren't really my thing so um, I probably wouldn't purchase this at least not in this scent I don't know if it comes in other scents but um, this was also in my finish six by Christmas so I have a lot of foil packets in these empties. I've been trying to get through a lot of my samples. So I'll try to get through them pretty quickly. Um, this was the Soap & Glory Smoothie Star Lightly Whipped Body Buttercream. And I did really like this. When I first smelled it, I didn't like the scent. But it was kind of, um, I think, almond and pistachio uh, sweet scent. And um, after I applied it a few minutes later, I kind of smelled myself again. And I did really like it. So I would consider purchasing this. I do really like the soup soup <laughs> soap and glory um body creams so this might be a future purchase yeah i like the way it smells now next up i have another primer it was the hourglass mineral primer um veil i didn't really notice a big difference with this um it was kind of a very liquidy kind of moisturizer like primer and i i would use another sample but i'm not sure i would ever purchase this Next up I have the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture Cream and this was just a pretty typical face cream and it wasn't anything special. Um, I like the one I use currently, it has a SPF, I really like to use one of the SPF so I probably wouldn't purchase this. Next up I have the Fresh Lotus uh, Youth Preserve Face Cream and once again this was a pretty basic face cream. Um, I probably wouldn't ever purchase it just because I prefer the one I use now, which is from Paula's Choice that has a SPF in it. Next up was the Fresh Rose Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. And eye cream isn't something I typically buy. I don't really feel the need for it with my skin. My skin's very normal. I don't have any issues with my eye area. So I, will, I do like to use um, samples of eye creams, but I would probably never purchase this. I'm sure it is like pretty expensive too. Next I have the Basha Detoxifying Black Cleanser, and I really like this cleanser. I've had a foil packet of it before, and I mean, it's nothing special, but just the fact that it's black, I don't know why, but I really like it, and um, I would consider purchasing this in the future maybe, but I do like the face wash I'm currently using from Paula's Choice. Next up, I have this e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner, and I just use this every day after I use my brushes. I spray a little bit of this on and then kind of wipe them on a paper towel just to get the color off. And I've repurchased this a couple times, but I realized it's just basically alcohol with some fragrance. So I'm just going to refill this bottle, I think, with alcohol and just use that because that'll be even cheaper than this, which was only maybe $3. I have another Birchbox sample. This was the Acure Day Cream. Um, with go-to cola stem cell and 1% Corella growth factor and um, I don't remember the claims on this but they were pretty stupid um, rubbing stem cells on your face like that's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard um, it's not really gonna do anything for your skin and this actually kind of stung my skin when I put it on my face around my nose area so I ended up just using this as a hand cream and it was fine, but I definitely would not ever purchase this. The Benefit It's Potent um, eye cream, and this was fine. Like I said, I like using samples of eye cream. I don't buy eye cream, so I wouldn't buy this, but this was a fine eye cream to use. 
So this was the Nude Omega Cleansing Jelly, and this you put on your face to remove your makeup. Um, you just put it on dry, and then you add a little water, and it kind of turns it into a white, milky substance. Um, I really like this. It worked. But like I said, I'm not really in the market for a new cleanser right now, but if the opportunity ever came up where I did need a cleanser and this was on sale or something maybe, I would consider getting it. Next up is my eyeliner from Urban Decay. It was in Smoke, and this was in my Project 10 pan. It's just a charcoaly gray color. See it there? Um, I used this as a gray, and then I also started setting it with black eyeshadow to make it darker. I actually have a full size of this, so I will be using that, but I'm not sure I would purchase another one after I use that one up, just because I found that I really do prefer black eyeliner. I have two little perfume samples. I have the Lady Million and the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream, and these were both fine. They, I think they're more sweeter florally scents, which aren't really my thing, but I didn't mind them, and I used them up, but I probably wouldn't ever get the full size bottles of these. Okay, we're almost there. Um, this was from my glossy box, and it was the Nip Herbal Bath in Lavender. And I got two uses out of this, and I really liked it. Um, it turned the bath kind of a blue color. You can see in the bottom it was this color. And it smelled really nice, and I really do like to take um, a nice relaxing bath every once in a while. So this was great, and I'm not sure how much it is, but I would look into purchasing this if I ever saw it. I've never seen this brand, though, in a store, so I don't know. So I have a sample from Sephora of the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. And um, I did like this. It was fine as a primer. I don't have especially oily eyelids, so I find that any eyelid primer really works fine for me. But this was fine, and I actually have a deluxe sample of it to use up someday. <laughs> so um, that was fine, and I would maybe buy it in the future just because I'm not super picky. But right now, um, Too Faced is my favorite. So, Although for no real reason. They're all fine. I don't know why I said that, but... <laughs> this is another Birchbox sample. It was the CRX Microdermabrasion Face and Body Scrub. And actually, this might have been in my Ipsy. Um, I had a serum, I think, in my Birchbox. But uh, this um, says it could be used as a body scrub, and since I don't really like physical exfoliants, I decided to try it on my arms, and I could not feel any exfoliating at all. So then I did try it on my face, and it was very mild, um, but it was nothing special. I would probably never buy this. Okay, last one. This is the Burt's Bees Peppermint Foot Lotion, and I actually won this at a baby shower um, from when my friend was pregnant, and her kid is in kindergarten now, so I have had this for a long time. I found it in my closet when I was cleaning it out, and I was like, I really should use this up, so it's just a foot lotion. It smells like peppermint. I don't know why that's like the go-to scent for foot lotion, but it was fine. Um, I don't really feel the need to have a foot lotion, so I probably wouldn't buy it, but if you like peppermint foot lotions, give this a try. Alright, so those were all my empties. Um, I hope you, that was interesting. I know there wasn't a lot of makeup in there, but hopefully my next empties will have more since I'm currently doing um, a Project 10 pan and a Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. So hopefully I'll have some more makeup to show you then, and I would have had more makeup in this one, but I didn't really start saving these until I started my channel, so I didn't have all of the items from my Project 10 pan, but yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!